All right, so let's sit here and do a little video. Let's see, it is 12.46 a.m. on Father's Day here, 2022. And I'm sitting outside smoking a cigarette, relaxing, see? And I had some stuff on my mind here, see? My kids, my little kids were like, oh, well, dad, you know, how are we going? My, more specifically, my nine-year-old daughter. How, how do we, are we going to celebrate Father's Day? And so I decided, well, I, I want to cook with the family. And so we ended up going to Dylan's. And I talked to my oldest son and I was like, well, what do you want to do? You want to grill or what? And he said, like, "Yeah, we could do something like that." So, okay, Jet decided. Well, we don't want to do burgers and dogs, so I just grilled that the other week. So I want to do something different, but I didn't know what. So I'm going to the store, and I decide I'll figure it out when I get there. And we're, we're sitting there walking down the aisle, and my nine-year-old daughter turns to me and says. Well, Dad, tomorrow is your day, so how how should, how can we celebrate with you? Something to that effect. Uh, they, they wanted to do something for me because, you know, it's Father's Day. That's what you do is you celebrate fathers. And I looked at her and I said, Baby, that's not what Father's Day is about. Father's Day isn't about getting Daddy something, get, getting Daddy a gift or all this stuff. And... She goes, but yeah, it is just like mommy's day. We get mommy stuff and things like that. And I explained to my, my daughter, no, that's not what Father's Day is. And I'm a firm believer and that's not what Father's Day should be about. Father's Day is a day that's actually about kids. And I say that, and I, I tried to explain this to my daughter as easy as I could a real daddy works hard and they do everything that they need to do to take care of their kids and Father's Day to me is a day where I can sit back and look at my kids my kids are happy they're healthy they have fun they are well taken care of, all of that stuff. That's what Father's Day is for me, is to sit back and just look at my hard work paying off. And I'm trying to explain that to my daughter, but she doesn't get it. She, I mean, they're little kids, but it's true. The Father's Day isn't about getting things. It's me sitting back and seeing the fruit of my labor being successful. I love all my kids, you know? I mean, I have my biological kids and I have ones that aren't biological that I would still do anything for. Um, you know, I. I feel bad because I don't get to see all of them. Uh, I really, I really miss my little Pee Wee. She's really good, but that sucks. And others, you know, and I, I don't know. I don't know if they they all know that I think about them, but I think about all of the kids all the time. You know, I'm, I'm celebrating tomorrow and I'll have uh, my oldest, his girlfriend, uh, my three younger ones, and I'm still missing one. I mean, I think I'm missing one. I, I don't even know. But, you know, Father's Day, 
Father's Day is a good day. That's when I feel accomplished. I mean, my, I don't have the best life, but my kids don't want or need anything. I don't think, well, they always want things probably, but they're happy. And that's all anybody should do on Father's Day is just sit back and watch the, watch the fruit of their labors. You know, I can't speak for every dad. Some dads might want something for Father's Day. You know, all I want to do is just hang out with the kids and see them happy. All of them. What I wouldn't give to just relax with them and just enjoy them because that's what I do everything for. You know, it's not about the house or the car or the truck or the uh, job or the possessions in the house. That doesn't mean anything. It's the kids. And Father's Day to me is just about them. I guess I am just not um, that big of a materialistic person. Like, I enjoy things. Don't get me wrong. Just so does everybody. But, like, <laughs> right now, hold on, let me turn the camera. I'm outside smoking a cigarette, so let me see if I can turn this around here. Like, like right now, that's, that's my daughter's room. Th that kid... She's going to have a hell of a summer. She's got bad stuff coming up. But, you know, she's got that window and another window. Over, you can't really tell from this angle. But she's got two big old windows completely lit up. And why does she have it lit up? Because that girl has a freaking best TV plugged into her room that lights up her entire freaking bedroom. And you know, that's all she cares about. She's happy as hell. She has that. She can listen to her music and blah, blah, blah. My boys, my my boys are, well, you can't see because it's dark in their room right now. But they have a, a bed with a slide. That's all they care about. Oh, I take that back. And they have a mountain supply of cars, little Hot Wheels. Their little Hot Wheels are their entire life. That makes them happy. That I got down over there. Down in his room, I have my oldest son. He he doesn't need much. I mean, he loves his truck, but he's he's got his little PlayStation, and he's completely content in his world. Everything is right with the world. That's what I'm going to enjoy today. That they have those little things that I have provided for them. And that is what I'm celebrating on Father's Day. That they are happy. I love it. You know, I'm not the best dad in the world. But, you know, I think I do pretty good. Especially for these kids. I consider it. I consider myself successful. And tomorrow. Or today rather. That's all I want to do. Is just enjoy that. I just want to sit back. Relax with them. Play with them. We're going to go get in the pool. Oh my god, I, I put the pool up for the first time in a couple of years, and them little booger eaters, <laughs> they, they couldn't be happier. They're like little fish swimming out there all the time. It's great. It, 
it's a whole bunch of stuff that I don't really acknowledge or look at. You know, every every day I'm hoping that oh well the kids I hope are happy and I'm I'm doing this for them and all that. But you know. I never stop to sit back and just appreciate them and appreciate what they gave me. Um, my life would have been a whole lot different without them. A whole lot. And I know that. Clearly, I would have had more money. That would have been nice. But, you know, I wouldn't give it up. play with them every day and I talk to them every day and we have a really good relationship I think and that's worth everything that's worth every long shift that's worth every on call that's worth everything I've been a lot more in their life in the past year or so we've been uh, heck I've been their coach for basketball and I coached their soccer team and we went out on outings and all this stuff and it's been absolutely amazing because I have not done that much in the past. Um, and I have grown very much attached to it. And I, I don't know. I'm just sitting back and just thinking... They, they've gone through a lot. They uh, have seen really good times and they've seen really bad times in the past year or so. But uh, there, there's been some setbacks. sitting back reflecting on all of it everything and they're so strong the, the kids are just absolutely amazing all of them from my 17 year old all the way down to my little 5 year old To my core know that those kids are genuinely happy and they genuinely feel loved and cared about and important and I'm just sitting back thinking on all of this stuff and that's all I need for Father's Day just be knowledge that I'm doing something right. I may not do everything right, and I am the first person to admit that. But man, I, I, I love being a dad. I do scares me a lot you know each one of my kids have issues but you know what they're so unique little characters I, I don't know I, 
I truly have a lucky life, lucky life with them. something bad happens they're not afraid to call dad they're not afraid to call me I'm the person that they want to call and I, I know that when they're scared or they're hurt or they don't feel well or they're upset or they're sad they want daddy and it's not just my little kids. I, I know that Jeremy, my oldest, knows that I'll be there for him no matter what. He may make some stupid mistakes because he's been making them stupid mistakes. But he knows that I'm not going to hurt him and I'm not going to leave him and all of that and that that's all I want to reflect on for Father's Day oh. sorry I'm just kind of going on a weird little tirade here Forged in Fire, Master Bedroom TV. Alright, Forged in Fire for Netflix. Playing on Master Bedroom TV. <sighs> oh, what the hell? Yeah. Let's just get the stuffed animals off my bed. Clearly my youngest was in my room. And Nerf guns. Just, oh, that's too loud. Oh, that's way too loud. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna turn that down. Anyway, I know this isn't really a great and amazing video, but I don't care. It's it's important to me, and as I lay here in my bed. Now, I can't help but just feel amazing, you know, like, let me see here, turn it. this is all Father's Day is about. Happy loving life good beastie Man, go to sleep, okay? I love you. That's right there. That is what 
Father's Day is about. So, for those of you who think that you have to have stuff and get stuff for Father's Day, stop. Don't. It has nothing to do with that. If your kids are happy and they have a smile on their face most of the time and they're not hurting and in pain and feel comfortable talking to you and doing things and they want to do stuff with you, that's how you know that Father's Day is about you. If you can't check mark all those boxes, then I, I don't recommend you uh, celebrate Father's Day. Because if you're not going to be there for them and you're not going to make their life better, you're not a father. And anybody who says different, well, they can go take a freaking hike. And, that, and that's the fact. Father's Day isn't about gifts. It's not about what you can get. No, no, no. Father's Day is another day. It's another day that you get up and you do what you need to do to make their life better. I personally am trying to get it to where I'm going to wake up nice and early in the morning here in about six, seven hours, get my coffee, and I'm going to make them their pancakes with fresh fruit in it, and then we're going to grill and swim in the pool, and they're going to have a blast because this Father's Day is about them. It's not about me. It's, it's about them, and I love it I absolutely love it so take a second and just look at the happiness of the kids if the kids aren't happy something ain't right you're not doing your job and I confident, confidently can say I know I'm doing my job because my kids are happy and that makes me happy. But this is a long video, so I'll, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out now. Enjoy the day, but respect it the right way, and do the right thing. See you next time.